Hey guys, welcome to another Affinity tutorial. I'm Jack, and today we're going to be looking at how to sharpen your image subtly, so not over sharpening it. We've got this raw file, and like always, we're going to drag it on into Affinity. Previous image that I've just edited. There we go, right. So, <clears throat> this image isn't particularly soft if we zoom in on it. It is sharp, but it's not pin sharp. So, what we're going to do is add a little bit of sharpening. And again, I'm just going to, that's a little bit too much, just going to add some adjustments, just minor adjustments. There we go. I'm going to open this up into the develop mode. So we're going out of raw into develop. There we go. So the first thing to do is to create another layer. And I'm just going to duplicate to do that because I want the same layer. So this is my bottom one with the little padlock on. This is the one I'm going to be editing on. We're going to go into filters and sharpen. Now, unsharp mask is one you might be familiar with. So is clarity, but I prefer the high pass one. So we're going to click on that. Now it goes gray. Now don't panic. That's absolutely normal. And what you can do is adjust how much. Now, obviously, that's way too much. Now, I basically go until I can just start seeing a little bit of colour. So I'm going to take it up to about 4, 4.2, and up click Apply. Now, it's still grey. So what you then need to do is go over here where it says Normal. And you've got Soft Light, Hard Light, Vivid Light, Pin Light. I typically go for vivid light. I like the colors on that one. Um, overlays is just is just the sharpen, but you can use all of these. And again, experiment, see what works. Uh, but we're going to go with vivid light for this one, as it's a kingfisher. And if we zoom in again, you'll notice if I compare it to when we started, that's what we started with. That was the gray mode. So started with that. Sorry. There we go. So huge huge difference however I only want that kingfisher to be sharpened I don't want the rest of it so what we can do is erase bits of that filter and if you look here you'll see it as I get rid of it and the reason for this is I want all the attention on the kingfisher I don't want the background to be sharpened because obviously that's nice and blurred out so we are going to just do that and again I could be much more careful with this but I'm just doing a very brief view of it so there we go and then that means the kingfisher is nice and sharp and there we go that's that bit done now on the same picture one of the things you'll notice is the fishing line that the kingfisher on has a slight purple tinge to it and this is called chromatic aberration. You often get this on things like windows, the fringes on bright white objects, and it is something that we can easily get rid of. So we're gonna to go to layer, and then you go to live filter layer and defringe filter. I'm just gonna move this up so we can see. Now, if you drag it onto the purple, so just by tinkering, you can reduce that purple massively. And again, if we go back to the beginning, we go here, that's how purple it was before. This is what we've ended up with now. So just getting rid of that purple makes a huge, huge difference. And now we have a sharpened image with no chromatic aberration. Hopefully that's been of use to you. If you enjoyed this video, check out some of the other Affinity videos. And I'll see you next time. Cheers.